Water bath canning is the easiest method for preserving high acid food, primarily fruit, tomatoes, and pickled vegetables. You need the following equipment, a water bath canner, a jar rack, a five to six quart pot and a saucepan, canning jars, two piece caps, lids and screw bands, a jar lifter, a wide mouth funnel, a ladle, and a non-metallic spatula. Look for these supplies at your local culinary store or search for canning supplies online. Assemble and wash all your equipment in hot, soapy water. Rinse off any soapy residue. Fill the kettle one-half to two-thirds full of water and begin heating the water. Put clean jars in this hot but not boiling water for at least 10 minutes until you're ready to fill them. Set the clean bands aside and put the lids in hot but not boiling water in a saucepan. Separating them from your jars protects the lid sealant. Next, prepare your food exactly as the recipe tells you. After preparing your food, pour it into the hot jars, leaving the right amount of space stated in your recipe. Release any air bubbles in the jars with a non-metallic spatula. To do this using the spatula, Press back gently on the contents, going all the way around the jar. Add more food to the jar after releasing the bubbles, if necessary. No air bubbles and proper headspace ensure a proper seal. Wipe the jar rims with a clean, damp cloth. Put a hot lid onto each jar rim, seal inside touching the jar rim, and hand tighten the screw band. Hang your jar rack on the inside edge of your kettle, still filled with hot water and place full jars in the rack. Make sure they're upright and not touching each other. Lower the rack into the kettle. Cover the tops of the submerged jars with one to two inches of hot water. You can add more water from a tea kettle or pan. Cover the kettle with the lid and bring the water to a boil. Let the jars boil for the recommended time. Remove the jars from the boiling water with a jar lifter. Place them on a clean kitchen towel away from drafts. Do not adjust the bands or check the seals. You should hear a ping when the jars seal. After about an hour, you can check the seal by pushing on the center of the lid. If the lid feels solid and doesn't push down, you have a good vacuum seal. If the lid pushes down in the center and pops, the jar isn't sealed. If that's the case, refrigerate and use them within two weeks or as stated in your recipe. If there's a good seal, no need to refrigerate. Label jars with the food and date you can them. Finally, store your jars in a cool, dark place.